put that bottom pass in. All right, here we can really see the little droplets kind of coming off the end of this in spray transfer. We want to bury about two thirds of that weld on that bottom pass. And you want to make sure that you're keeping all that inclination, your travel speed, everything consistent. Okay, so there's my second pass. Now I'm going to come in with my third pass now, and that's just sort of going to point up more onto this top plate. And that'll sort of be my angle. And I'm going to watch that puddle sort of overlap to the center of this guy. I'm going to travel a little bit quicker because my plate's probably a little bit hot and I'm punching into that top T plate and I'm overlapping that previous bead right from crown to crown or from center to center and making sure that we have a nice overlap. All right, so with my fillet weld finished now, let's take a measure. You'll see that it's uh, around three eighths of an inch right there. And if we check it the other way, 